going to share with you my experience from where to stay when you arrive in Puerto Vallarta. Uh, I'll provide you guys the info and then uh, you guys can decide on where you want to stay when you do arrive in Puerto Vallarta. So if you Google Puerto Vallarta, Google Maps will look something like this. Uh, I'll show you my penned up version. So the airport is located in this red uh, circle here. Uh, once you arrive in the airport, there are several ways uh, you can get to your hotel or hostel. The most practical and uh, value, like a balance of practicality and price is Uber. Um, taxis are much more expensive than Ubers. So for me, I took the Uber. However, one quick note is that Ubers are not allowed to directly pick up people at the airport or else they get a fine. So to, to get to your Uber, once you exit uh, the airport, there's going, to be an OXO store. If you walk directly to the OXO store, you're gonna see, um, so it'll be to your left. When you exit the airport, it's gonna be to your left. You see an OXO store, walk to the OXO, uh, walk to the OXO, and then you'll see a bridge. There's only one bridge um, connected to the airport. It's one big bridge. Uh, and then if you walk across that bridge, that and then down below is where the Ubers will pick you up. Um, so let's move on to the other highlighted areas. So. Uh, here you can see two main areas. Um, so up here, uh, we see the blue and the green. So these two green ones are uh, giant malls. Uh, and the blue one is the main uh, pier or uh, marina where ships will leave for tour activities. However, this is not the only marina or pier or port that is in Puerto Vallarta. So you don't have to stay up here to, to go on those uh, tour activities. In the purple zone, there is also a pier that will also leave uh, the island to get to like Isla Marietas and the other islands that are located in Puerto Vallarta. So uh, high level, if you, so based on, you wanna stay where, you, uh, you wanna stay in the zone that is oriented around the activities that you will find yourself doing most often. So if you stay up here, uh, this is oriented towards people who wanna, uh, who enjoy shopping because the malls are located here um, and because there are malls, especially in Galleries Vallarta, they have uh, several different banks and ATMs located inside the mall. So you have easy access to different banks and ATMs to, to withdraw your cash. Um, it's also more quiet in this upper area. Uh, and also because there is the main arena, you have access to uh, the, tour act, like the tour activities. Um, and then down here, uh, is Zona Romantica. Here it's more concentrated. There's daily nightlife. There's always something going on uh, every night. Uh, you have direct access to the beach and because it's more lively, uh, there's going to be more noise associated with uh, this area that I highlighted purple. Uh, this purple line here just highlights, oh, this is uh, the beach, you know, <laughs> you have uh, access to this huge, um, line of beaches um yeah so up here is more quiet but however so up in this area that i'm circling with my cursor uh it is more quiet and things are more spread apart so you will often find you have to walk further or you might even have to take an uber or a taxi to get around in this upper area uh so if you like shopping you want something more quiet and relaxing uh, then you would stay up here if you want uh daily nightlife uh, liveliness uh, being able to explore on foot to many different restaurants, many different uh, activities, and also being able... So both areas, you have access to tour activities. They both have piers uh, or, uh, I guess, marinas or ports. Uh, and down here, you have direct access to the beach. So if we zoom in on the purple area, um, this is what it looks like. Uh, I've highlighted two brown uh, circles on this map. So first is... So these two brown maps are just Starbucks locations. Uh, Puerto Vallarta is super hot and super humid. It's probably the most uh, hottest and humid city uh, out of the 13 or 14 cities that I visited in Mexico. So I circled these brown uh, Starbucks locations because some hotels and hostels, they don't run air conditioning uh, all day. Uh, sometimes they only turn it on, allow you to turn it on at night, like for example, from uh, 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. something like that so uh, if you need a I, I always find Starbucks a reliable location to go if you need a place to work or kind of cool down and to rest uh, Starbucks will always have air condition air conditioning and strong Wi-Fi 
guaranteed and you can just buy a drink and you can sit there all day uh it's just something that you know <laughs> every starbucks location uh has that kind of culture like it's a, a place where you you know you can just sit and chill right so i've highlighted these two brown areas and usually for me i try to center uh, my accommodations near a starbucks uh so that i do have that backup option of you know if the hostel or the hotel doesn't have a good place to work um i go to starbucks for the wi-fi <laughs> and for a, for a nice seating area a cup of coffee and you know air, air conditioning uh so these are the two starbucks locations if uh, that is a consideration that you guys want to um, keep in mind. And then in the in this pink line, this pink line is just highlighting the beach walk. So Prieto Vallarta has a beautiful beach walk where, uh, you know, in the daytime and at night, there's restaurants lined up along the beach walk, uh, clubs, uh, street food. And then uh, down here where all these kind of, you see where I've kind of bookmarked a lot in a concentrated area. So this is Zona Romantica. Uh, for me, I would recommend staying in the in zona romantica over the beach walk because behind the beach walk there's actually not much activities if you see google kind of does a good job of highlighting the liveliness as well if you see the yellowish uh hue here like you can see it's just a thin uh thin hue that is along the coast however in zona romantica you kind of see is more kind of a concentrated uh block a giant block right so so in i would just recommend staying in zona romantica and then you can just take when you do want to visit uh the beach walk you can just take a stroll or walk to the beach walk and then walk back into zona romantica where your accommodation is and the beach walk uh is essentially from zona romantica the beach walk is i would say to 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 reach the beginning of the beach walk it will be like five to ten minutes to complete the entire beach walk uh, it took me 20 25 minute walk to walk the entire um, area that I highlighted uh, this pink line so it's it's not that far uh, and it's kind of like a nice walk so you don't really mind the time uh, and you can always be flexible on how far you want to uh, walk on the beach walk if we zoom in on Zona Romantica it's going to look like this uh, starting with uh, the pier Muel de Playa Los Muertos. This is a pretty iconic location. It's also where, um, if you're going to do tour activities like visiting Isla Marietas, uh, you're going to be able to access boats from this location that may or may not take you to a larger ship that may have left uh, Marina Vallarta that we kind of talked about earlier. Um, so if you stay in Zona Romantica, you still have access to tour activities. So just to kind of build upon that, uh, you're gonna find along Close to Muel de Playa Los Muertos, you're gonna find a bunch of different vendors selling you uh, tour packages or tour activities. Uh, that's where I've highlighted purple here. So along these streets, uh, what I would recommend is just visiting each one and then comparing uh, what package uh, each what each package offers and the price. You want to get the the best uh, value for your price ratio. So they're very competitive. You can. Uh, revisit each vendor once or twice and, and be like hey listen this other this other shop offered me this price for th this activity can you offer me a better deal uh, and then so the reason why I also recommend Zona Romantica is because you have you're very concentrated so you have access to various uh, stores and amenities uh, so next is let's talk about OXO stores so OXO stores uh, you have I guess this one two three so let's count one two three four five six you have six well these are the six oxo stores that i found myself uh accessing so i highlighted here on the map so oxo stores are convenience stores where you can get uh you can quickly access things like hygiene like soap shampoo um uh, you know uh, toothpaste uh and also food item beverages like uh water bottles uh, juices uh and and quick snacks things like that right so oxo stores i always found very useful when i was in mexico let's next cover uh where the street food is located in zona romantica so uh street food i've highlighted in orange so the first a very popular street food uh place is pancho's tacos this place is always busy uh, i think it opens in the evening tonight uh so pancho's tacos is here uh, there's another street food uh location located 
here where my cursor is uh, hovering. Uh, I think it's called Taco Trucks, El Pastor, and Taqueria Mendoza. Uh, there's some street vendors located here as well. And then our third location is, again, like we mentioned, on the beach walk, or the beach walk in Spanish is called a Malecon. Uh, so if you, yeah, this entire beach walk will have street food vendors. So if you go up and you decide to go for a walk on the beach, on the Malecon, uh, there's plenty of vendors for you to choose from. Um, and then, uh, what else should I point out? Okay, so next is, like I was mentioning earlier, because you're in a concentrated area, you have easy access to, for example, uh, if you need to do laundry, uh, the one that I used was uh, this one here, highlighted in blue, I think it was called PVRPV Laundry Service. Uh, this one was pretty cheap, I think, for for four four shirts, two pants or something, they charged me 70, 50 or 70 pesos, I can't remember, but it was um, it was like three or four dollars, right? Uh, for, I think, they can do same day or next day pickup, so it's, it was relatively cheap and quick. Uh, and also for, if you wanna do haircuts, there's plenty of barber shops. The one, the one I went to is highlighted blue over here, uh, called La Barberia. Um, and what else to point, should I point out? Oh yeah, and then again, uh, in the center of Zona Romantica is a Starbucks. Uh, so this is where I found myself often visiting to do uh, work. Uh, it's also a nice place to meet other people. Um, so yeah, so that brings us to, I don't think there's any other points to cover. That brings us to the end of the video. If you guys found this video helpful, uh, I would consider <laughs> giving it a like. Uh, maybe share the video to someone who uh, is planning to go to Puerto Vallarta. Uh, and as well, I would, I would love to hear your feedback and opinion and your experience on Puerto Vallarta if you have any recommendations or insights. Uh, and then and then if you want to stay tuned for future videos that might you might find useful uh, consider subscribing um, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video